Hey yo, what up do YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and what I've got for you today is some NBA 2K22 Next Gen video. More specifically, what I got for you is another subscriber suggested video. Shout out to Frey for suggesting how about I make a Michael Jordan or Ja Morant build. Honestly, I'm gonna make the MJ build first because I'm saving as many current players as I can till the regular season begins because then, you know, when I drop their videos, we get more views and more people come through and see the channel and hit that subscribe button, but it is what it is. So, today's build video, as I said before, is a Michael Jordan build video. Most of you know he was a shooting guard, right-handed jersey number 23. Low-key played majority of his career with the Chicago Bulls. At one point, wore like jersey number 45, 49, something. I don't remember, but yeah, he wore it for, for a few games and yeah, nobody wants to remember that era. Plus, low-key, nobody wants to remember the era where he ended up playing for the Washington Wizards because yeah, he was playing well, but... It wasn't a beautiful sight to see, but yeah. Height-wise, Jordan does come in at 6'6 and weighs about 210 pounds, but for the sake of this build and not wanting it to be terribly slow, we will be lowering his weight down to 195 pounds. Now, wingspan, I will be keeping it at 6'10. No, there's no other specific reason for this other than I personally believe having a long wingspan in this game allows you to get a lot, of passing a lot more passing lane steals than you really should. Body shape will be going defined because, you know what I'm saying, at one point that boy did look kind of cut. So, yeah. Now, before we get into breaking these attributes down, I got to say a few things which are, if you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because as most of you know, we're trying to hit 400 subscribers by the end of the month. And currently, we're still on pace. We just need a whole lot of people to hit that subscribe button. And honestly, I got a lot of beef with a bunch of you because about 97% of the people that have been watching this channel over the past 28 days ain't even subscribed. What is the ludicrousness in that? So if you ain't hit that subscribe button down below, yeah, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that thing. And if you like today's video and want to see more content like this, go ahead and do me a favor, hit that like button down below because it lets me know. And yeah. And if you have a specific build you want to see or there's anything NBA 2K22 related or Warzone related that you want to see on the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and drop a comment down below because as you know, I am a man of the people and I do respond to all of you. But, dang, that was a voice crack. But, getting into the into the attribute breakdown, first things being first, I'm going to put the driving dunk up to a 92 because this is an MJ build and I will be expecting it to bang on people like no man's business. Also, that means I got to put the vertical up to an 80. So there you go for all the people that want the dunking side of it. You got a 92 driving dunk with an 80 vertical, aka elite contact dunks, athletic 360s galore, and MJ's dunk style if you really want to. Now, the driving layup wise, I will be putting this up to an 85 because to get MJ's layup package, you do need an 85 driving layup with like a 60 vertical or something. But yeah, we already dealt with a vertical. Next thing to mess with will be the close shot. I will be putting this up to a 59. This is only because anything below that doesn't allow me to get 21 finishing badges. And I'm assuming a bunch of you are going to go Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, Gold Posterizer, Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher, and maybe Pro Touch if you can finish fit it in there. Or maybe, you know what I'm saying, Lob City Finisher. Who knows? Some of y'all are weird like that. Now, shooting-wise, MJ was not the lethal shooter in the league. Shout out to Reggie Miller. He was holding that down. Him, Peja Stajakovic, you know what I'm saying. Who else was it? Pete Maravich, Drazen Ben, man, I can't remember the guy's names. I'm not that old, right? But yeah, so we're going to put the mid-range shot up to an 88 because I'm not going to lie, he was a killer when it came to that midi. And we will be putting the three ball up to an 84. This is only because anything lower than that doesn't allow me to get gold catch and shoot as well as gold circus threes. I'm being kind of stupid, but yeah. But the good thing is we do get Hall of Fame fadeys. I'm not going to lie to you, this is needed on an MJ build because for any of you who know how the man played, when he was in that post, it was kind of hard to stop. There's a reason they said Kobe and MJ shared the same type of game, because when both of them got you in the post at mid-range, it was an unpretty sight to be in. Now, the next thing I'm going to mess with is, as I said before, the reason we reduced his weight, the speed and the acceleration, because honestly, we do not need this build being slow. I will also mess with the stamina, seeing as we're down here, and put it up to a 95, meaning when you do get Jim Rad in, you will finish with a 90 speed, 88 excel, and a 99 stamina as well as an 84 vertical, which in my honest opinion, you know what I'm saying? That, that slaps right there. Now, the next things to mess with will be the defensive side of the ball, because for those of you who don't know, this man was first team all defense hella times for a reason. Now, we will be putting the perimeter defense up to an 86. This is because it allows us to get gold clamps and gold menace. And the next thing we will be messing with is the steal. We will be putting this up to a 78. Now, for most of you who know, when I first got this game, I put the steal up to like an 86, I believe. 
this was because I wanted to get gold pickpocket, but trust me, after they nerfed the holy crap out of steals, there's no need for pickpocket anymore. Just get interceptor and trust me, you'll get a few steals here and there because ripping it off somebody is damn near impossible. The next thing to upgrade will be the block. Damn, why did this update come now? Luckily, I already messed with the stamina and the vert, so you guys know what that is. That's a 95 stamina and an 80 vert. We good there. I'm gonna put the block up to a 65 just because anything lower than that doesn't allow for Silver Intimidator. And then lastly, rebounding wise, I'm gonna give him a 75 off defensive rebound alongside with a 57 offensive rebound, meaning that when you do use this build, you will still have the ability to crash the glass at such a rate that ain't nobody stopping you. And then lastly, but not least, the last thing we'll be messing with is his playmaking ability. We will be putting his uh, ball handling up to an 83 just because that allows us to get gold quick oh, what's the man i keep forgetting this yeah gold quick chain gold shot creator and gold handle for days because at an 80 dribble he gets them all at a silver so i figured 83 gets you that gold get you that ability now speed with ball we will max out on the 82 just because mj was kind of quick when he was handling the ball you know what i'm saying once he hit you with that little ah, ah, ah he was gone so we will be putting that at an 82 pass accuracy i'm low-key gonna leave this at a 70 because a lot of people been telling me there's really no need to have it any higher and uh i'm a man of the people so i'm gonna take their word at it so in total with that extra we always have that weird little extra point that we can just slap somewhere and boom 99 overall i don't know why 2k does it but they do so in total you finish with 20 defensive badges allowing you to get gold clamps gold menace gold ankle braces gold interceptor gold pick dodger gold talus defender Hall of Fame off-ball pest and silver intimidator, as well as that bronze chase down artist if you really want to piss people off. Now, playmaking wise, you finish with 23 badge points, allowing you to finish with gold quick first step, gold tight handles, gold triple threat, gold quick chain, gold handle for days, gold shot creator, and Hall of Fame downhill. Man, you can see the rest of the badges there. And you finish with 28 shooting badges, allowing you to get Hall of Fame fade ace, which is what I was really here for, and 21 finishing badges, allowing you to get gold posterizer and hall of fame limitless takeoff now in total this allows you to finish with 49 51 71 91 total badges but of course if you hit level 39 and you also go the college route you will finish with 96 total badge points i probably put 96 in the title because low key i needed people to click on it but yeah, and this allows you to finish your max, you know what I'm saying, 86 speed and 84 XL, which go up to 90 and 88 once you do hit that gym rep badge. Now, takeover-wise, the quickest things to go with, obviously, because it is MJ, you got to go easy blow buys, even though you can't see it right there. And the next thing to go with, in my honest opinion, would be extreme clamps, because as I said, this man was unstoppable. When he got on you, he really let you know he was playing defense on you. Now, what 2K says we have happened to build here is none other than a two-way scoring machine the likes of ray allen anthony edwards and bradley beal i ain't gonna lie to you for those of you who didn't watch ray allen before he became a uh, serious marksman just shooting lights out this boy used to ball when i say he used to ball ray allen used to get compared to kobe for a reason but yeah it's been your boy alvin mb10 aka amr10 don't forget if you like today's video and you want to see more stuff like it go ahead and drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel and you ain't subscribed yet do me a favor go ahead and hit that subscribe button because as i said we're trying to hit 400 subscribers by the end of the month and loki drop a comment telling me what you want to see next but yeah it's been your boy alvin mb10 aka amr10 i'll highlight you in a bit deuces